Yo, what's up? Nick Jones here. You may remember me from previous videos. A little grown up now, but I'm here to bring you back to days of old. When we used to rant. The old, you know, the kids. Dustin, Nate. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, I regret to inform you that this is not the circus, this is a rant. So hang them high while the seal dry because your ass might get ripped in this one, boys and girls. Old school! Absolutely. We started ranting, the two of us, at this very spot in 2006. Well, this general vicinity. <laughs> this area gave birth to the first very good rants we ever did to the first rants in general we ever took part in and to be honest with you we could not uh, i repeat could not replace those golden memories or could we relive those golden memories but today we are here uh, to do this rant in honor and also in respect for everyone that has participated in those rants that includes you our brother Jeffrey Wayne Cottrell, you'll never be forgotten. Absolutely, buddy. Okay, we wanted to choose this spot because this is the town that started it all. Since then, we have both moved profusely from town to town, place to place, but now we are finally reunited back in the town that started it all. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, I told you once and I'll tell you again. We're the best that has ever been, the best that ever was, and the best that, uh, that will ever will be. Can't top. Cannot top. Okay, so let's get started. Yeah! First and foremost, right before we started this video, we did another video of us trying the Lay's chicken and waffle flavored chips. This is the reaction after. Okay. We're going to post the reaction video to us trying the chips, but right now we're just going to go ahead and go into details. Yeah. My opinion is, if you're going to make a flavor of a food, you should actually make it accurately taste like that food. Not like... Not something else. Not like beef or ramen. Okay, here's the deal. Lay's chicken and waffle chips. They don't taste like chicken and waffles. They taste like beef ramen noodles. Why? Why? Because... This person, let's get a close up. This person right here. <laughs> we should be doing from Arizona. We'll bleep it out. <laughs> but of course, ever, whoever's bought the bag or whoever's seen the bag knows the name. Come We're on. We're not gonna say the name, but the name's on the bag. Yeah, name's on the bag. Excellent idea. Hands down, excellent idea. Funny, hell yes, it is. <laughs> it's fucking chicken and waffles, man. This appeals to men like the cameraman right there. Nick, he's black, it's awesome, he loves it. Not the right flavor. <laughs> he still loves it though, because he loves ramen noodles. Yeah. I mean, who don't love ramen noodles? Yeah. When you have to live poor life, you know what ramen noodles are. You love them bastards. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Next, after that. Soda, soda. Got right. to get some soda. Next, the very next thing that we are going to talk about, I'm not quite sure what we're going to talk about, but we're going to go on something. We're going to fucking do something, man. Damn, my nipples are hard. Okay. Oh, no. oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Sorry, Sorry about that. <laughs> Had a moment. It just happened. Yeah. Just, just forget that ever happened. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's. Really? What the fuck? Okay. Figgity fuck. Figgity? Figgity. Figgity fuck. Okay. There's a truck over there. Now, um... <laughs> something I wanna... I wanna, uh, address. And this is something a lot of people probably complain about, bitch about, blah, blah, blah. blah. False advertisement. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and go with false advertisement because it's bullshit! Yeah, just bullshit. <laughs> See that? Mm -hmm. For one thing, one thing, false advertisement. Let's go to the topic of Red Bull. Bitch, it does not give you wings. Oh. I drink, I drink several Red Bulls. <laughs> Do you see wings on this motherfucker? No. 
No, 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 no. I tried Red Bull a few years back, like four or five years ago. I tried it, tasted like urine in my opinion. <laughs> Don't ask beer. me why I know, but I know. <laughs> Forget I ever said it. But it tasted horrible. And I never got wings. Why, Red Bull? False advertisement in general, bad idea. Absolutely. If you're going to advertise something and say that this is going to happen or this is going to be there, but this might be that and that might be this and this might be there, don't fuck it up because you're going to piss people off. And for another uh, another example, oh, let's take a let's take a trip back in time, shall we? Let's go to the famous incident of McDonald's. This bitch, knowing that the coffee has the steam coming from the top of the thing. <laughs> You'd figure something would click and say, hey, I see steam. Steam equals hot. Hot equals burn. No. She couldn't, she couldn't put all the Legos together. Come on, no, how dumb do you have to fucking be? If you get coffee, naturally it's going to be hot. Hot? It's not good for touching, because if you touch hot, it hurts. You go, chow! <laughs> some hot. Some hot's good. Yeah. Some we're hot not hot. going into that. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, if we were to go into that, uh, it'd be an all from, a whole other topic. From here to here would be censored. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Don't worry about it. But if you're going to get coffee, unless you order iced coffee, naturally it's going to be hot. Keyword there. Ice. So, frozen water, coffee spill, hurt, ow, ah, hospital. You sue McDonald's because you're <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> she suffers third degree burns. How the fuck are you going to suffer third degree burns from coffee? And coffee! Here's something I really want to address. Please work with me. Oh. Including the cameraman. This is something yes. I've wanted to get off my chest for a while, but I haven't had a chance. Yes. Oh my yes. god! For those individuals out there, you probably know what I'm talking about, and if you want to address me in person about it, please do, because I'm not afraid. Here's the thing. For you individuals out there who are completely and utterly racist about everything that is not American, I mean everything, Mexican, black, Hispanic, Ooh. anything, you are completely and utterly racist, and you hate when your significant other talks to that other race. You hate anything and everything to do with any other race there is, except what is American. You do not even like American food, or I mean, foods that are not American. Oh, I messed that up. See, my, my black colleague here, he's a black motherfucker. He's black as hell. You are black. I'm black and Asian. He's Blasian. So, he can work with me on this when saying that complete and utter racism is pointless yes. because people are people no matter what. They can be assholes. They can be complete wastes of space, but they are still people. People. Huh. What's your two cents in, sir? Racism? Shoot. Wait, it's 2013. What's the point? We got past that. Slavery ended. People died. Great people died for racism's causes. Let it go. Slavery ended a lot longer in 2013, dumbass. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Y'all know what I. <laughs> you can fix racism, but you can't fix stupid. <laughs> okay. So yeah, he is right. It is 2013. We have a half-black president, Barack Obama. He is actually black. Yes. Okay? What the hell's with the racism? Not only has racism still gone on, it has gotten worse from a lot of the African-American people. And I'm not racist. But when Obama got elected, a lot of black people started retaliating against the whites. And it's retarded. Yeah, there's a black president. Okay. We're still here. Yeah. We're all still people. We gotta live in this fucking hell hole. I mean, come on. But, uh... Yeah. Nick, would you please? I, I, I have to eat. You gotta get some more chicken and waffles Let's go. I'll be having a cow run. I here. missed out. Sir, take that. We don't have any watermelon today. <laughs> Alright, see, racism, the way that I look at it, um, to 
be honest with you, it's dumb and it's retarded. It should fucking stop and it should fucking end. And I hope and I fucking pray that, this, uh, that everybody on Facebook, YouTube, fucking Twitter sees this dumb shit. Because if they don't, I will personally make damn sure that everybody's going to see this shit. Racism should stop. And if you hate racism, you'd like this video and you'd share it and you'd tell your friends about it. Because whoever is racist and stupid and uh, it blames it on the way that they were brought up, for God's sakes, I was brought up racist. I really was. I hated black people. I really did. But you see this? This is a very good friend of mine. His name is Nick Jones. I went to high school with this man. I'd catch a grenade for this man. I catch a I'd catch a grenade for you. Anyway. <laughs> But, like I said, racism is stupid and it should fucking end. It really should. Who cares if we got a black fucking president? He's running the goddamn country! And for God's sakes, he's doing a lot better than Bush. That's good Bush from Texas. <laughs> and where are we from? America! America! Not America. Not America! Are you one of them people that roll around in your fucking motorized scooters Eating donuts, chicken, and and, and, and supersized French fries, saying Merck, this is Merck, this is Merck. Shut the fuck up. It's not right. It's not right. Yeah, I'm just getting a little <laughs> bit vulgar here, so if you don't like it, Nick. you can. Yeah. It's time to get real vulgar. Oh shit. Oh, it's time to get real <laughs> vulgar. Time to get violent. It's Merck. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So here's the deal. Mark, mark. Racism has to stop. It's retarded. Because people are people no matter what race, what color. It doesn't if matter. And if you don't like it, then you ain't got to listen to there it. There are good people and bad people of every race, from every country, from every corner of the earth. Good and bad people everywhere. Just the way it is. Really? I'm gonna be, I'm, we're being honest. So, we're going to go ahead and end this old school rant. And there will be more to come. Oh, God, there will be more. So, Nick, get over here. We're going to do this right. There's three of us all signing out. See ya. Peace.